Once upon a time there was a wolf. He was not a normal wolf, for he could walk on two legs and talk like a normal human. He had no idea why, and he wanted to find out. So he decided the best course of action would be to threaten every scientist he came across until one agreed to help him. This, of course, was actually a horrible plan, but the wolf decided to go through with it anyways. So the wolf took a walk and came across a small lab in somebody's yard. He knocked on the door and said, Come out! I need help with the science problem. And the kids inside said, Go away! We're busy. So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew down the tiny shed lab. Then the children called the police, and the wolf decided it was time to move on. The wolf then came across a science class. He called to the people inside and said, Either come outside or let me in. I need help with the scientific problem. The people inside said, Who are you, and why are you on school property? So the wolf huffed and puffed and blew down the science classroom. But the people in there also called the police, so the wolf went to the next place. The third place the wolf came to was a giant laboratory. The wolf was prepared to blow down the lab and yelled, I am a wolf and I need help with a scientific problem. To his surprise, a bunch of scientists came out of the lab. Gasp, said one. Whoa, said another. A third one just sort of squealed and stood in the doorway for a couple minutes and the wolf was getting kind of confused. Then a bunch of other scientists rushed out and carried the wolf into the lab. After about a week of research and experiments, they discovered that another science company had previously done experiments on the wolf, including giving the wolf a voice box and a brain. This ended in the other company being shut down and several employees being arrested for illegal experimentation, but that's another story. The scientists also discovered that the wolf required extremely large amounts of oxygen to survive, and therefore he had much larger lungs than humans or wolves, and this is why he was able to blow down buildings. There probably would have been more experiments done on the wolf, but the police showed up and arrested him for destruction of property. And that's the story of the big bad wolf. Why do you mean that's not how it goes? Of course that's the right story. Yes, I'm sure it had sight.